you very much. That's much better. finished up with our gym session obviously we did back day but we were only able to do like two exercises and that is because I got off of work pretty freaking late so I only had 45 minutes at the gym so I just used that time to do deadlifts which take hella long and another compound exercise the weighted chin up for the deadlifts today um, I hit 270 4 by 5 which is a new PR I feel like I'm PRing every freaking week with deadlifts has for like last like four or five weeks and I guess that's just what happens when you're a freaking noob at deadlifts you just progress really fast and as for the weighted chin-ups also PRing on that as well I hit 47.5 pounds on the weighted chin-up that's 2.5 pound PR I'll take that any day for a 4 by 6 rep speed that's not bad at all and then we just finished off the workout with a few bicep curls because we're gonna get kicked out of the gym if we didn't leave. So I think I did like maybe like 20 or 22 curls. Try to get a quick pump. I don't think it really worked, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I got two PRs today. Not a bad pull session at all. Next week on the deadlift, we're definitely going to go for a plus five pound PR. So a 75 pound four by five rep scheme on the deadlift and on the weighted chin-up we're gonna go for a 2.5 pound PR as well oh my god bicyclist wants to die um, we're gonna go for a 2.5 pound PR on the weighted chin-up because I thought they felt like pretty easy today like sometimes when you go for a rep scheme PR and then it ends up being super hard like the last rep was a grinder and usually the next week when you repeat that exercise you don't really want to go for that five pound PR right away you might want to just do the same weight that you did the previous week to make sure that you're more confident when you actually PR so like let's say today if I did deadlifts 270 4 by 5 and the last rep was like a grinder like I freaking blew my back out then the next week I'm not going to add five pounds onto that right I'm going to to be pretty conservative maybe repeat that weight maybe even go lighter and go for more reps so that's usually how i would plan it out today i kind of wanted to talk about um my experience being like a really skinny stick figure as a kid and as a early teenager well even late teenager i was still a stick figure but let's tell some stories today so growing up as a kid i was a chronic ectomorph no matter how much i ate well, at least I thought I ate. I would not gain like any weight because I was also very active. I was doing a bunch of sports when I was younger. A lot of sports that involved running, and as you know, running burns a shit ton of calories. So in grade eleven, 
that's when I started lifting. That's when I took a personal fitness class at my high school. And I took that class with the intent of getting some muscle, getting big. I was tired of being a stick figure for my whole life. When I first started going to the gym, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. All I knew was that if I wanted to get big, I, I got bench press. So that quickly became my favorite exercise. I was only doing bench press at the time. I was pretty weak. I remember I started off with a bar, 10 pounds on each side. 65 pounds was what I was, what I was repping at the time. I was a super skinny kid. Slowly I learned that progressive overloading was important and I started using the 5x5 five five method with the, you know, the weekly PR on the rep scheme. I remember my biggest dream at that time in grade 11 was to hit 135 for one rep. And I don't even think it was 135 because we were using a bar that wasn't even 45 pounds, it was, it was 35 pounds. So my dream was to hit 125 on the bench press for one rep. That was my dream and I remember. Midway through the personal fitness class, I would regularly attempt 125 pounds every gym class that I had. I would walk in in the morning. Waking up in the morning. And I would find the biggest guy at the gym at the time. And I'm like, yo, can I get a spot, bro? And he's like, okay, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm gonna do 125 for one rep. And he's like, okay, he's a super friendly guy. And every week I would try this. And I swear I failed 125 for one for like four months. I could not get it, it was super embarrassing. Every morning I would walk in, there'd be a whole crowd of my friends, you know, surrounding me, you know, hyping me up to hit this like minuscule amount of weight. And I wouldn't be able to get it up. Fast forward to grade 12, eventually I hit 125 and I was pretty happy about that. And then eventually I was repping 125 and I was slowly progressive overloading. At this point, I haven't touched legs. Like I haven't squatted. My squat was probably weaker than my bench. And although I could rep 125, I was still the stick figure. Like no, that's probably no surprise to anyone. Like 125 isn't, isn't very big at all. After I finished the 12th grade, I was playing Summer Club Ultimate. And if you guys know, if you guys play Ultimate, um, it involves a ton of running. And basically, I was running a lot, playing Ultimate, and I lost all of the gains and muscle. Or not all of it, you know, the tiny amount of gains and muscles that I got from um, grade 12 and grade 11 personal fitness class. So by the time I finished Summer Club Ultimate, I was really skinny. All right guys, I'm back home and I just finished dinner and I'm gonna eat an apple. So as I was saying, in university is when the gains really begun because when I was looking at all the things that my university provided within my tuition, I saw that my university had a free gym membership. So any student could go to the gym for free. And knowing me, I'm a freaking cheap ass. I wanna get the most bang for my buck coming out of my tuition. So first year, every day after I finished school for the day, Monday through Friday, I would leave class and I would go to the gym. Right after class, leave class, go to the gym. I would worked out five days a week, consistently, progressively overloading while I was bulking. So something to learn from this is that consistency is a lot more important than motivation. Like sure, in, when I was in grade 11, I wanted to get big, I was tired of being skinny. I had a lot of motivation, but I had no consistency because motivation varies from like day to day. Whereas consistency doesn't really care about motivation. Consistency is more about building habits. So I built a habit out of going straight to the gym after class. And it, it just felt normal to me, whether it was like I was having a really good day or a really shitty day at school, it, it didn't matter. I just went to the gym because I was so used to it and it would feel weird if I didn't. It's kind of like, like brushing your teeth. When you brush your teeth at night, it has nothing to do with whether you feel like brushing your teeth or you don't feel like brushing your teeth. Like you could come home 5 a.m. after coming from the club, you're freaking hammered, messed up, and you know, you, before you go to sleep, you'll brush your teeth. Well, hopefully, you guys aren't like disgusting monsters that just pass out on your bed, you know? You don't want to get no cavities, right? Like, before you sleep, you make it a habit that 
you know, you brush your teeth, whether you're feeling like shit or you're feeling good by the end of the night, it doesn't matter. It's just a habit that you, you brush your teeth before you go to sleep. Same thing. When you go to the gym and you want to be consistent, then you got to make it a habit. It didn't matter if I felt like shit after I got railed by my chemistry midterm or anything like that. I was depressed. It didn't matter. I went straight to the gym right after because it was a habit. It was just what felt normal. And this consistency is what allowed me to take a step up in my... Um, this consistency is what allowed me to, to level up and, you know, actually build some muscle and use the most out of my newbie gains, you know, because when you first go to the gym, you're, you're going to get really strong, really fast. Or not really strong. You're going to get a lot stronger really fast. So that's my tip for you is consistency over motivation. Let me know how you guys you know, like these type of videos. It's very much informal. Not like my other videos that are like more educational and where I, you know, I plan out my entire script. I guess, yeah, I kind of sound like a robot in those, which is why like probably my watch time is not that great. The watch time is pretty dog water. So I was thinking I would switch it up, do something like this, more informal, but at the same time, still like educating you guys and providing some entertainment value. So let me know how you guys like this type of video. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, drop a like if you, if you like what you saw today uh comment anything if you have any suggestions or you know what to talk about yeah let me know and also click the subscribe button because i'm at 169 kappa uh so let's let's get it up to 200 and then i'll give away a tesla or something all right guys all right i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night and finish off this apple and you know yeah Peace.